Good morning. It is Tuesday today and so I am just about to go to college. It's quarter to nine. I have a bit of a presentation today that the club, like, we've got, we're split into two different groups. Um, my group are doing a play and we have to perform them today, which is kind of scary. Like, it's really weird because, like, speaking in front of the class is something that I really, really don't mind. But when it comes to having to remember things to say, then I get quite nervous about it. But I'm sure we'll be fine. Yeah, I think a few of you saw my Instagram last night and commented really lovely things, as always. Always lovely. Um, but yeah, I've just been feeling a bit like weird recently. You know, I've just been feeling kind of sensitive and a little bit lonely, to be totally honest. Like, and the weirdest part is like, there's not a reason. Like, I'm, you know, like I've, I'm surrounded by people quite a lot. Um, so there's not really a real reason I can see. But I think like, it is that time of the month and every time it is, I get really, really like anxious about my friends and worried about things. Um, but the best way to kind of uh, overcome that or make things better from that is by talking about it. And so I want you to know if you're feeling like that or if you have felt like that, it's totally normal and it's totally fine. Um, this camera's about to run out of battery. Great, great. Um, also, I am trying to do Vlogtober. I'm trying to put up a video every day on this channel. So hopefully that kind of works out. I think I've already failed because I didn't put one up on the first. <laughs> um, but that's what I'm trying to do. I'm going to try and have a video up here every single day. I'm also still half asleep because I was up at eight, which is not the kind of time I like being awake. But I've got to go to college pretty much right now. I'm gonna finish my coffee first and then go and do a presentation, but I'm sure it'll be fine. I am back home. I feel so much better. I just like literally came in and ate. I passed a pot because I'm just, I was so super hungry. I can vlog before I had. A Marks and Spencer's feta, cheese, and slow roasted tomato pasta salad. So good, it's my favorite thing. Um, so I went and I did my presentation and it went absolutely fine, like I knew it probably would. And um, by the way, I'm vlogging on a different camera. I'm vlogging on my old vlogging camera. Um, I'm expecting a new camera to come soon. I've got the Canon G7X Mark II, which I'm really excited about. Um, but I'm gonna be using this for a little while longer until that arrives. Don't know when it should have arrived, I think, by now. I don't I don't know. Um, but yeah, my presentation went well. Um, it was all good. And when I came home, I had an exciting package. I'm gonna tear off my address. Oh, I'm just gonna cover it up, actually. Um, but it came in a really cool box, Illustrated for Life. And I believe this is the package from Oh Dear. Um, they're like such a good company. Um, but I ordered this stuff and I didn't expect it to arrive so soon. But I'm really excited about it. Oh Dear is basically a website that's just for like um, I think all of the artists on it are independent artists that make notebooks, cushions, prints, everything. Um, Gemma Coral does a lot on there. Um, Amber Rose, who I believe is a YouTuber, I think, has her own line of stationery stuff there as well. Um, which is a lot of good stuff. So, I'm going to bring you a little bit closer. First I got some washi tape because I just love washi tape right now. I use it for everything. I use it to decorate things and stick things and all the things that washi tape can do. I got a really pretty gold one. Oh, it's focusing now. And a really pretty like, it's like a tie-dye kind of, it reminds me of like a sunset or something. Bluey, purpley, nice colour. Oh, they sent me a nice uh, detox tea. I'm not really that into detox tea, I'm not gonna lie. But it's tea pigs, I might try that. I forgot I got half of this stuff. That's exciting. They also sent me, because if you spent over £25, which I obviously did, they sent you a free little lovely notes thing, which I might give to my mum because my mum loves writing notes and stuff. It's so pretty. It's got a copper like round the edge. 
and it's blank. Ah, I got some cards because the cards on there are so pretty as well. This cute little bear, anniversary card, um, a well done card. Although I don't know who I'm going to give that to. Um, I thought it would be nice to have. I got this beautiful, this is an Arden Rose, um, because I think my friend has something like this and I think it's really handy. They've got the, my weeks, so they've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, blah, blah, blah. They've got doodles, they've got a to-do list and notes. I thought that looked really, really useful. I really wanted something like this and I think it's just so pretty. Um, I also got another notepad, which I think I'm going to give to my mum um, at some point, which is just so pretty. I love that and just like lined paper. And then the real reason I went on is because I have, right now you're balanced on, um, the thing that I, my journal kind of thing, I use it all the time. And I've always tried to keep a journal for ages, but because I've been too strict in my mind, like I've been like, you have to write it every day or you have to write your feelings, you have to write this. I've never really kept up with it. But the journal I use it for mainly like YouTube ideas or um, to-do lists. Um, I do write down what I do every day just to kind of, for my anxiety to look back on to see how much I've done. Um, but I'm nearly finished that, it's the first time I've ever nearly finished a journal and I really loved um, the kind of layout of it. It was like one page lined, the other page blank and I just used it so much. I stick things in it, I use washi tape in it. So I was like, I want to get a really, really similar one because I loved that, I love the style. Although it's quite big and impractical, I really like it being so big. So I thought I'd get one that was the same and isn't this the most gorgeous journal you've ever seen in your entire life? It's A4, um, loads of lovely different cactus prints. I think it's so pretty. I'd love to design something like this one day. Um, and it wasn't that expensive for what it was and it's the exact same as my last one. One blank, one lined, which is actually really useful I find. And I just think, isn't this the most gorgeous thing? Jesus, I get so animated over things like this but I just think it's so pretty. Um, so I had lots of stationery delivered, which is such an exciting package to get. I also got a call from the doctor today. Um, a few weeks ago I went in for blood tests just to see. I'm always kind of feeling not too great. Um, and I kind of thought maybe it's something, I, I know it's probably my anxiety, but I wanted to just double check that it's nothing, um, nothing else. Um, and she phoned me today and said that everything's fine, I'm just maybe slightly anemic, which is difficult because I'm obviously a vegetarian and so I don't eat meat, which is where I think people get a lot of iron from. But she said to eat a lot of apricots. She said it wasn't like a worrying um, iron deficiency, it was just that I was maybe like on the cusp of maybe becoming um, anemic, but nothing to worry about. Um, but I... Yeah, I want to try and get as much iron as possible because I don't want to feel tired or ill um, and I don't want to get more anemic and so I need to kind of try and find ways to get more iron in without eating meat. Um, which I think will include a lot of green leafy vegetables which is so exciting. Um, but anyway, I have a lot to do for college. I kind of, because I've been so worried about this presentation that was today, I've kind of forgot about all the other things I have to do for it and so I've got a week to do quite a lot of stuff. I need to write a whole transcript and um, comments on the transcript and all that kind of stuff. So I've got a week to do that but I feel like it should be something that I at least start at some point soon. <laughs> That's quite vague. Um, but I am going to watch a couple of YouTube videos and just chill out for a little bit before I get started on that. Um, just because I've been feeling a little bit anxious recently and so I want to, as always, when am I not? When am I not? But yeah, I want to look after myself a little bit before I start getting into work. So I'm actually going out now, um, 
I am going to meet my friend and we are going to do some work together. My assignment at the moment for college is we, I'm studying counselling, I'm sure you know that. We go into groups where one person pretends or practices being a counsellor, somebody else speaks so they talk about something that they are feeling or whatever and one person observes what's going on in the relationship between those two people and talks about different things that he thought the listener did and so we recorded one of those sessions and we have to transcribe it and then um, talk about things we'd like to change or things that we found difficult or that kind of thing. That's what I'm doing currently which um, yeah I've done most of it actually. I've kind of enjoyed doing it. It's been quite difficult because there's a lot of things that I noticed that I did that I didn't like or that I found difficult to listen back to. I look so hoopy right now. Sometimes my nose ring looks absolutely massive. It's really weird. Anyway, um, I'm going to go and meet my friend and we're going to do some work together, which will be nice. It's really dark, Emily. So, I have hijacked Emily's camera and we're going to the fort, which is far <laughs> away can't. for Emily. <laughs> Why? Yeah, actually, that's a good thing to point out that I struggle quite a lot going up to the Asda <laughs> because microphobia and stuff. Yeah. And then it's better, I always find it better to like just do things in the moment rather than building it up. So, Go to the fort to get Dara some nice highlighters. I know, this is actually the reason that we're going is to get highlighters for studying. Because <laughs> I really, really hate studying. And Emily was like, maybe I'll like it more if we got highlighters and kit things to actually make studying fun. Which I didn't know studying could be fun, but apparently it can. I don't think she's telling the truth. But we're going to go get some highlighters and get David some treats. David's my partner that works at the bar that we both work in and we've just way, kind of abandoned him. <laughs> Dara has no fear. Like I, I get really nervous while going public because I think people think I'm a like, weirdo. We yeah. just walk past somebody, Dara's just like, oh, I just wait to get some highlighters. <laughs> I used to vlog all the time though and I never got bothered about it. Like occasionally people would like run up under me, like run up to me in the street and just scream in my camera or like try and wave <laughs> in the background. <laughs> but it, like it makes them look stupider than you look. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, like the people that watch your videos are watching it to watch you. Yeah. Also you know, another fun fact. The reason that me and Dara are friends because I was the biggest fan girl of her. <laughs> She's seen YouTube videos and I was like, oh, I really want to be friends with that girl and so I just messaged her and messaged her and told her to be my friend. <laughs> I, actually like, Let's go. I, actually, I actually messaged you. Yeah, I know. But basically, I was, like, hard to get. the story was that Emily went and got a piercing with David, my partner, and she recognized David from my YouTube video. And she told David, and David told me that she did YouTube videos. So I actually stalked her. Yep. I went on to her channel, and then uh, I found out her name and stuff, and messaged her on Facebook, and was like, hey, we love the side of Chiller, let's be friends. And now we are. We've been friends for ages now, kind of. I know. The first time we actually met, we were going to the fort, and now we're doing it again. <laughs> We're going back to the place where we first met. <laughs> but that's what I mean, like people will walk past you and they might like look at you for yeah, a second, but watch. they they don't know you. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? And I think that's really important to remember. And he also found that funny. He didn't he wasn't like oh. he was like, oh <laughs> but that's what I mean, like you see um tourists and stuff all the time. Yeah. You know, talking to their cameras or that's talking to their phones. True. That's actually or like true. taking videos and you, like you might look at them but like, you don't know them and you'll forget about it in like yeah. a second. Yes. Yeah. So, do you want to wrap it up? Well, <laughs> I'm just shite. <laughs> That's all I want to say. She's not shite. <laughs> but um, yeah, we've abandoned David. And we're going to the fort to get highlighters. Woo! Which is the highlight of our day. Oh my god, that was so ironic. Hey, the highlight of our day. The highlight of our day. <laughs> there you go.